Welcome to Warrior League from J.C. Booth Middle School in Peachtree City. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Liberty and Dia. Today is Friday, April 26, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. The McIntosh High School Ambassadors serve as a support system for new students. They give tours of the school and help new students get acclimated to their new environment. Ambassadors also support both our school and community with service projects. Ambassador applications are available in the counseling office. Completed applications are due by the end of May 17th. See Mr. Kelly with any questions. There will be a volleyball meeting for upcoming 7th and 8th grade girls interested in trying out for the Booth Volleyball next year. The meeting will be in the gym May 2nd at 8 a.m. Please check in with homeroom and then come back to the gym by 8 a.m. There is a volleyball camp hosted by McIntosh High School and 5575 Volleyball. This camp is open to rising 3rd through 8th graders, boys and girls. You please use the QR code at home to scan and register. In case you didn't know, Friday is School Spirit Wear Day. If you want to buy some spirit wear, go to the school website, select Resource, and select PTO. On the top menu, you will see School Store. Did you get caught wearing spirit wear? You've been caught wearing spirit wear. Hope you have $2.50 to purchase one of eight delicious flavors. It's Froyo Friday, I'm on my way. Eight flavors to choose from, let's celebrate. It's Froyo Friday, I'm on my way. Eight flavors to choose from, let's celebrate. While you while you are waiting on the sidewalk, please be on the lookout for your ride. We need to keep the line moving along. Bus riders, for your safety, please remain on the sidewalk while waiting for your bus. Once you get on the bus, you must stay on the bus. Do not do not get off the bus without the bus driver's permission. Stay on the path to be to success. Be prepared, accountable, thoughtful, and helpful. The word of the day is quash, quash, verb, crush or suppress. Her dreams of medical school were quashed when she failed her entrance, ex entrance exams. Quash. I dare you to word, use this word today. Today is Friday, April 26, 2024. The high for today is 78 with a low of 60 and a 36% chance of rain. There will be recess today. It is going to be rainy on Saturday, so keep those umbrellas close by. Have a great day, Warriors. The yearbook staff has begun creating the 2025 yearbook. This yearbook will cover all the time period from March 2024 all the way to March 2025. In our past yearbooks, we have always created our yearbook in the time frame from August to March, so we will always end up missing some important end of the year events. Well now, we plan to cover all the fantastic activities that happen at the end of the year. This will require 7th and 6th graders to answer a few surveys. Please, please take the survey so we can get your point of view for the 2025 yearbook. Thanks! Thanks.
Good morning and welcome to Sports Talk. I'm your host Gavin and Kevin. Now and let's talk sports. The NBA playoffs have just started. Round one has just begun with many more games to go. I think the Denver Nuggets will win it all. Well, I don't. I think the Minnesota Timberwolves will win. But the Boston Celtics also look like a strong team going into the playoffs as they have a record of 64 and 18. But the playoffs have just started, so anything could happen. Don't forget about the NHL playoffs. They have also just started. I think the Carolina Hurricanes are going to win. I don't think so. I think the Panthers are going to win it all this season, but the Carolina Hurricanes still are a good team. But once again, there are still many more games to be played, so anything could happen. Now let's talk about the MLB. We will keep you updated on the NBA and the NHL later. In the MLB, teams like the Braves, Orioles, Yankees, Guardians, and Brewers seem to be dominant so far in the MLB. There are also many, many more teams that can be considered dominant too. But teams like the White Sox, Marlins, and Rockies are really struggling so far this season. The White Sox have the worst record in the league, which is 3-19. and Shohei Otani is off to a great start with the Dodgers. He's hitting 368, which is the best in the MLB. He also has the most hits in the MLB. Don't forget about Marcel Ozuna, who has already nine home runs this season, leading the MLB, and Mike Trout is right behind him with eight. That is all for Sports Talk. I'm Rose Gavin. And Kevin. See you next time on Sports Talk.